My name is Lois Ellen Frank, and I'm a chef in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm the chef owner of Red Mesa Cuisine, a catering company that specializes in indigenous cuisine and cultural education. I'm going to show you how to make a dish that uses some of the uh, ancestral foods of the past. And we're going to make corn puddings and we're going to layer it together with a berry compote. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with the apples and I'm just going to peel the skin. We're going to cut these into small pieces because this is going to get boiled with our berries. And I'm going to be using frozen berries today. And I find this part of the process gives me a chance to connect to my own ancestral past and think about how this food fed our ancestors and how amazing it is that we have these foods today. And now we have our apples and we have apple juice. I have some frozen berries and I'm using blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and some uh, cherries that have a little bit of sweetness. Take my fresh apples that I cut and I'm gonna mix that with the apple juice. And I wanna bring that to a boil. And then as soon as it boils, I'm gonna add the frozen berries. And now what we're gonna do is just let this come to a boil. We're gonna let it cook for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna add our last ingredient, which is our unsweetened applesauce. While my berries are boiling in the background, I'm going to make the first layer of the Native American parfait, and I'm gonna start with blue corn. And this corn comes actually from Tamaya. Tamaya is the name for Santa Ana Pueblo, and I buy the corn from them, which they mill and grind. And this is just ground corn. This is the whole corn kernel ground. And then I'm gonna use culinary ash. And I make the ash from the juniper, but we just burn the branches until it turns white. And then that white ash is strained and I end up with a powder. And I'm just gonna take my stirring sticks and I'm going to mix in the ash and the cornmeal. I am gonna add a tiny bit of salt and I'm gonna be using Zuni salt. This is cold water. And I'm just going to stir in the water. Once the cornmeal and the ash and the cold water is mixed together, what I'm going to do is pour that into this pot here. I'm going to add a little bit of agave. And the agave is gonna just sweeten a little bit. My heat is on high, you can actually, you'll start to see it start to thicken. And we stir this cornmeal, it's gonna to start to thicken and bubble. And as it thickens and bubbles, that's our indicator that our corn pudding is almost done. We're going to just take spoonfuls and I'm gonna just take my pudding and pour it into the glass. My berries have been boiling, this is the boiled berries with the apple sauce. You can see that beautiful color. This is gonna be our second layer. What we're gonna do now is we're going to make the next layer, and the next layer I'm gonna use white corn. Corn is our mother. Corn is sustenance. Corn is maiden. She's healer. She's our sister. Corn is very sacred, and so we honor the corn when we cook it. And now we have our next layer, which is the white corn. The last thing we're gonna do is put on our last layer. So I've saved some of the berry compote, and I'm going to gently pour that on top. And I'm gonna take my pine nuts and we're going to toast them. And we want that pan to be really, really hot. And then once it's hot, that's it. You're gonna pull it off the stove and we're gonna put it in a bowl and then we're gonna use that as a garnish. I'm gonna take 
very thin slices of fresh apple and some fresh mint. And so here you have it. We have uh, a beautiful dish. For me, it almost looks like a, a beautiful sand painting where you see the layers coming together and the fresh apple and the mint and the pine nuts. And we have our ancestral corn and the berry reduction. And we have something that's really nutritious. It's delicious. And I just love looking at those beautiful layers. And we have a really nice ancestral dish that we can share with the people that we love.